Hey, Tani and Terrell. I have to say, the creativity of these names is just snow impressive. Right now, we're standing in front of Salter Payton, one of the winners, but I want to waste no time getting to some of these very incredible winning names. So in seventh place, you have Jean-Baptiste Point du Shovel. In sixth place, you have Holy Plow. In fifth, Sleet Home Chicago. In fourth, Sears Plower. Coming in third, you have Salter, P Salter Payton, who's behind me. In second place, you have Da Plow. And in first place, you have Mrs. O'Leary's Plow. Now, the seven winning snow plows were paraded today at the city's salt shed with the residents who, who submitted those winning names right there alongside them. Now, the man who named Mrs. O'Leary's Plow says he never thought that he would actually win. Very surreal to be here right now. You know, most people... I told my parents after I won, you know, most people are naming kids. I'm naming a snowplow. So uh, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> so the city maintains a fleet of 300 snowplows, which are responsible for plowing 9,400 lane miles of roadway. So here's the good news. This competition is going to happen again next year. The city's received literally tens of thousands of entries, and I've come up with a couple just brainstorming right here so one of my favorites would be museum of science and plow followed by brian snowlacker and my favorite is lala paplauza so, <laughs> you've been working hard on that dad joke game haven't you yeah, christian man. yep that's what happened that's what parenthood does yeah. to you <laughs> nicely done thanks so much <laughs> Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.